Hi, children and parents and children's co-workers. How are you today? Do you feel excited that the Awana Grand Prix is coming? Look at the awards my son got. Let me show you his trophies. Look, my son got three trophies at Awana Grand Prix. Let me show you his cars. Look at this car, so nice, beautiful. Look at the shape, even here. Okay, let me show you another design, Coca-Cola car. Doesn't it look nice? You can also make it. But we made another one, iPhone car. We need this iPhone car and uh, we didn't get any award with this car. It's too simple. But it runs so fast. Okay, today we're going to talk about how to successfully make Awana cars. You will get this kit from church. Uh, it consists of a piece of wood. I weighed this piece of wood on the scale. It's exactly three ounces. That's very important. And also you get four wheels and an axis. Also label. You can put your car number on it. So for the Grand Prix, there are two categories. One is uh, the contest for the design. Like this car, aerodynamics is not so good, but it won a trophy for its design. While this car, it runs really fast. So let me tell you how to make your cars. First, look at this piece of wood. And you can cut it and design in the shape you want. You can Google Awana Grand Prix or Pine Wood Derby Car. There are tons of designs on the web and you can get ideas. Or you can have your own very creative idea. Okay. So you can cut the wood, you can sand the wood apply prime and uh, apply two layers of coatings of paint. Then you can decorate any way you want. Okay, that's for the design part. Then we will talk more about the racing part. Okay, we need to think about physics. For example, how can a uh, Awana car run very fast? This car will be put on a track then all the cars will go down. The driving force for it to go down is the weight by gravity. So there is a weight limit for each Awana car. That's five ounces. So after you finish making the car, you should check carefully with the kitchen scale to make sure it's five ounces. If it's heavier than five ounces, your teacher won't let you participate in the racing. If it's less than five ounces, you can add some weight to it. Okay. So the main driving force is the weight. Then how can we reduce the air resistance and the friction? Okay. From aerodynamics point of view, the car needs to have a good shape like this. So the air can go through from the top and the bottom, not like this. This is not good for air dynamics. So this is one important factor. So you should have a sharp angle here. The other thing quite often our children ignore is the friction. Let me explain to you. What I observe is some children after they made the car, 
the wheels won't rotate. What happened? Because the wheels are too close to the wood. So the wheels are scratching the wood. So it won't freely spin. Now, even if the wheel cannot spin with your finger, how can it run on the track? That's very important. So you need to leave some space here between the wheel and the wood. You should leave some space, a little bit of space. Okay, that's very important. So I added a plastic ring here. Look carefully, the green one. I added plastic rings over there. That's a spacer or washer that makes, that gives some space between the wheel and the wood. It cannot be too big either. So that's one important thing we should keep in mind. Don't let your wheel scratch the wood. The other important thing is you should glue the axis to the wood so the axis won't move, won't wobble. That's what I observed with uh, some children They made this mistake. They didn't glue the axis. After one race, the wheel fell off. Okay, so secure the axis with the glue on the wood. Also, you could apply some lubricant. For children's safety, I would suggest you to use vegetable oil. That means between the wheel and the axis and the washer, you can uh, drop some vegetable oil as your lubricant. Uh, you should try your best to make the uh, Awana car, but also you could get some advice from your parents. Also, be careful when you cut the wood, be very, very careful. Try to wear gloves and don't get your hand cut. Be very careful. So enjoy this process. The purpose is that you participate in this event and enjoy your fellowship with other children. Enjoy, have fun, and you don't have to compete. Even if you don't get any trophy, that's okay. Enjoy this process and be creative. God bless you. Bye.